Hello everybody and welcome to Zephyr Hills, Florida to the Museum of Military History, home of the 10th Fighter Squadron. The sign says that this museum was once the barracks for the 10th Fighter Squadron here at the Zephyr Hills Airport. This sits just on the edge of the runway, actually without that fence. I say we are on the runway. This plane looks like it's about to take off. It just fueled up over here to the left, just beyond this chain link fence. Authorized vehicles only, keep gate closed. But we are about to enter this building to see what history we can find. And by the way, I am Tampa J. Welcome back to the channel. Journey with me, there's much ahead. The five branches of the military represented here by these flags. Plaque says that in 1941, this airfield became to the U.S. Army Air Corps training facilities in preparation for World War II. It was in full operation by 1943, providing advanced fighter pilot training to air crews destined for service in Europe. Well, we have entered. Right off the bat, I've noticed the insignia for the 10th Fighter Squadron. They called them the Pea Shooters. Not only is this a museum for the 10th Fighter Squadron, it's a museum for every major American war. There's a lot of stuff in here. First, we enter the Vietnam Room. And as the gentleman was telling me, the photos you will see, or about to see, were taken by someone that's from the area that served in Vietnam and I'll, I'll show you who that is in just a second but look at this everything was donated in here check out the the helmet with the pack of camels in it the shades and the and the bullets there here's an AK-47 7.62 by 39 millimeter. So as I was just mentioning, these photographs over here on the wall, next to this Air Force pilot suit. U.S. Marine Corps First Lieutenant Lyndon Laviano. Lyndon was a graduate of Zephyr Hills, Florida. In 1957, he flew 683 combat missions in Vietnam. There's Vincent right there. And these are the photographs that he took a lot of guys keep coming up to me wanting to tell from me his missions hometown, so hopefully I'll mention them in an article and folks back. check that out I believe I found the bazooka this is a PRC 10 radio check out the antenna that's awesome seen them in movies but never seen one up close now entering the World War II area Looks like we have some Nazi memorabilia over here. These old helmets, I don't think they're real. They're obviously replicas. This one here might be... Wow, this one, I think this one is real. Germany helmet providing superior protection of the head and neck. Steel helmet was the most advanced design in World War II. Oh, well, yeah, I'd say that's, that's a relic right there. Always thought the German grenades looked funny. On the end of the stick though, made it easier to throw. These uniforms are freaking cool. These are actually from World War II. Obviously they weren't worn because they're in an immaculate condition. But as the volunteers today told me, they are, they are real. And here's the front and here's the rear. <laughs> Notice over here, on this World War II Winter Infantry uniform, his pack here, that must have been really heavy. This is a steel bracket that connects these three ammo boxes that were full of ammo. All that steel, that must have been really heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Here's some Imperial Japanese World War II memorabilia. There's a uniform, and check this helmet out in this old 
Japanese flag from World War II, the Red Sun. Check out the shoes, like ninja shoes. Kind of like the Ninja Turtles feet. This old Japanese rifle. Arasaka, I believe. Yeah, Arasaka service rifle, a bolt action rifle. Check out this display. This is one of the coolest one here. This is a mountain tent. This display is awesome. <laughs> 1944 mountain tent. Check it out. Tents haven't changed much over the years. Still looks pretty good. Looks better than some of the tents I've had camping. This guy almost looks like a superhero of some sort. But check him out, he's ready to climb a mountain. Some vintage climbing gear for all you climbers out there. Look at those ski goggles, Foster Grant. Those must be worth some money. You never know when you're gonna need a snow brush. United States issue snow skis. That's cool. You don't see a lot of ski memorabilia. This is a very cool collection. Check out these snowshoes. Whoa, it's a 50 caliber machine gun right there. It's a little cutout of an airplane. Look at that. Here's the back side of it. Whoa. Just pull the lever back. Go to town. Oh, hey there, guys. Don't worry, I won't shoot you. Oranges and alligators. As America demanded more wartime production, Florida responded. Several of the state's best known claims to fame took on new meaning. By July 1945, Florida had received more than $1.4 billion in war contract. Donald Roebling of Clearwater invented the alligator, the amphibian tank, an all-terrain vehicle adapted by the military for use against the enemy in the Pacific. Wow. Invented right in Clearwater. So here's the area for the actual 10th Fire Squadron. It's pretty cool, this history out here. I had no idea it existed. I was just kind of looking around on Google Maps, and, I, and this popped up, and I was like, hey, I want to check that out. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I'm bringing you guys with me because I'm having a good time. Hope you guys are. Some really cool stuff to look at in here. Here's some old pictures of the airport. Looks like an old observation post in downtown Zephyr Hills during World War II. Here's some pictures of the 10th Fighter Squadron. And these are all from right here. Show you a couple of them. That's the old pistol range. And this one here, we're just doing a little target practice, it says. And then this one, Captain McDonald, operation officer, spelled just like McDonald's. Ooh. This is pretty cool. I like this model here, sitting here in the corner. This belonged to a chaplain during World War II. Basically a church in a box was loaded up in the back of a Jeep and taken to the next post. Zephyr Hills, 1943, when the Army Air Corps come to town. Had no idea this existed until today. Wow, it's amazing what you'll find when you just get in your car and go explore. Hey little doggy. That's a cute picture. Better look at the 10th Fighter Squadron insignia patch. Pea shooter. Here we have a parachute. It says it's the seat type. This would have been under the seat of an airplane. This says S1AN6510 parachute. It's pretty cool. You just pull the lever and there she goes. There he went. That must have been scary. Let's check out the Korean War room. Whether it's military or any kind of old photo, I always love just looking at them. It's like a time machine. My great uncle Kenny served in Korea. Three tours. He's passed now, but I remember when I was little he would tell me so many stories. Lubricating for aircraft instruments and machine guns. This old oil can. 
multi-purpose, I would say. On top of this old radio, there's a little program going. Looks like some footage. We had to have a bridge put Here's some old stuff from Korea. There's some currency over there. When we, uh, this old pamphlet looks like it's surviving. from the North Korean side. Well, I'd say, I don't know, is this Marilyn Monroe standing here? 1950? 51? I'd say that's that's Marilyn Monroe sitting there in front of the troops. I wonder if my Uncle Kenny's out there somewhere. Well, I just had a conversation in the Korean War Room with a Korean War veteran. Thank you, Vance Rhymes, former U.S. Navy, did two tours in Korea. Shared some memories, some personal stuff about his days serving in Korea. That was an awesome moment. Thank you, Vance. Thank you, sir, and thank you for your service. Always like to see these old posters. U.S. Marines, active service on land and sea. Enlist at 24 East 23rd Street, New York City. This is one of the most popular ones. We can do it. She's a wow. A woman ordinance worker. Urine specimen bottle. Ew. Well, pick your uniform. Looks like they're all represented. Throughout the years, a lot of Air Force. I see some Army, some Marines, some Navy. I don't see any Coast Guard though. Looks like we found the nurses' quarters. The uniform of the nurse during World War II. Looks like U.S. Army. Marines. Here's an Army nurse, Mildred Butler. Served in England from 1942 to 1946. There were some women pilots that served in World War II. This is Barry Vincent Smith flying the 44W6. And this is Bernice B. Falk Haidu with her 44W7. So here is the 10th Fighter Squadron in 1945. Right there and above there's a photo of the 10th Fighter Squadron, all who remained, in 1996. Wow. Hard to believe this is over 20 years old, but think of back. Wow, 1945. Check out these photos in this old Walmart photo album, always. Remember those? But anyway, here's, here's kind of some pictures of them actually moving the building that we're in. The barracks down the street it wasn't too far away actually. They moved it here next to the runway. Look at that. It's pretty cool. It's amazing what man can do. Good and evil. I didn't expect to come out this way and be actually on the runway. I'm in the airport coming down the barracks but over here we have a C-47 model C-530 Sky Trooper year 1942 this is probably the best vantage point of the front of the plane Gotta get low, and lower, and lower, and lower, and lower, and lower, until you're this low. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Standing right behind the flaps, looking up to the windows. Well guys, unfortunately, this is going to be the end of it. Hope you had a great time out here at the Zephyr Hills Airport. If you're interested in coming out here, there's still much to see. I couldn't capture it all on camera. It's not too far from Tampa and not too far from Disney World, Orlando. Lots of fun attractions you can find in between those two areas in between the beaches and the parks. If you were watching today and you had a good time, 
join me in my next journey, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for watching. I am Tampa J, and this is the end of it. Hope to see you again sometime. There is much ahead, my friends. There is always much ahead. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, y'all. Wow, I'm on, I'm on the runway. <laughs> That's cool.